Hey guys, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces. In this video, I wanted to talk to you about whether or not you should buy a pre-built mining rig. And I can understand both sides of the coin, why vendors and retailers are marketing to a specific niche of users who may not want to deal with the hassle of building a mining rig. However, I urge you to consider it because the experience is one thing, but you can also save some money. For example, and nothing against any of the manufacturers I showcase in today's video, but they are charging almost $7,239 for a 6 GPU mining rig with the 1070 Ti 8 gigabyte and the 1070 Ti is a four year old card however because of the demand now making every card or almost every card either out of stock overpriced or just really hard to get buying a pre-built if it's available in stock may be beneficial because you can get it sooner rather than later but let's just do some comparisons so for uh, $7,239 we're gonna get six 1070 Ti's we're gonna get a motherboard CPU memory power supply I didn't choose the touch screen and an opportunity here for a beginner is a warranty because if you may not know how to troubleshoot your mining rig the warranty uh, may help you out another thing is the warranty may be needed because they're gonna to have to ship this mining rig out to you and granted it may be strong very sturdy but consider it when you buy a pre-built computer they just take the side panel off and they insert maybe that packing foam that they pop on the table and put it in there and that will help keep everything stable as it's shipped you know jarred around dropped whatever it may be as it's brought to your house but in the mining rig how do you do that well, I don't know and I don't have the answer, but that's something that you need to consider if you're going to buy a pre-built mining rig, unless you're going to buy local, unless you're going to meet up with somebody and buy local, which is an option. But you definitely want to do your homework as far as the cost. So let's compare cost. So 1070 Ti, everywhere I look, I can find it at the lowest for maybe $650. That's still steep. I mean, this card is four years old and you know I, I guess when it came around MSRP I, I, I can't recall the price uh, back then but that's that's it's 650 bucks is way over what this 1070 Ti should be uh, so I would say maybe four hundred dollars or less would be a good price but 650 is high but let's just go with it so 650 was the lowest I could find so 650 times six GPUs now we need motherboard we need power supply we need all these other things including a mining frame and fans and I've priced all of that out okay I priced all of that out and here's the number that I got four thousand four hundred and eighty five dollars and you can see comparing the two that we're almost saving three thousand dollars by building it ourselves so where's the downside to that well the downside is as a beginner you may not know what you're doing you may get confused or you might break something during the process now why you would break it if it's pre-built is what are you doing maintenance you should be always maintaining your mining rigs and I understand that so during maintenance you may do something and break it well that's where their warranty might come in so that might be handy for somebody however if you build it yourself even if you deal with an old GPU or an older GPU you have the experience to repair it yourself and because the supply is so jacked up even the pre-built space is having impacts for example you can see that the 6 uh, RX 3080 GPU frame cost $7,600 and they're out of stock they're out of stock on the 6 GPU frame, they're out of stock on the 8 GPU frame and they're probably out of stock on the 12 GPU frame but this is one vendor okay what about this one well, Mining Sky just sells the chassis, the motherboard, the power supply. I don't even know if they have the power supply in there. But it's, it's just a bare bones kit, I guess you could say, minus the GPUs. Everything you need minus the GPUs. For a thousand, almost a thousand bucks, let's say 900 bucks even, somewhere around there. So you're, you're paying a hefty price for the chassis or for any hardware, especially right now. So to save $3,000, not only, or close to $3,000, not only would you gain experience, you learn how to maintain your system and even though there's no warranty or anything like that with your own maintenance 
you'll be able to warranty it yourself. It's your job to maintain your rigs. You always want to maintain uptime on these systems to increase your profits. But let's let's look at something here real quick. So say I were to get a chassis from somewhere else. Well, th let's let's just look at the, the regular mining rig. So right now, the mining frame that I'm familiar with, the Vada mining frame, a very popular. I got mine for around 35, 40 bucks. Now they have increased to 80 to 100 dollars, which is an inconvenience. You could always get a server chassis, but if you don't have a server rack, that can be a little bit cumbersome. But you can always put it on regular shelves, or you could just not get the frame at all, build your own. Here's a 40 dollar shelf that somebody took, and this is on Red Panda, uh, Red Panda Mining's Crypto Mining Rig Showcase. You got shelves that you can buy, plastic or metal. And what I would recommend is that will be your frame. That will be where you, you put everything. For example, these GPUs are going to sit on risers, right? You're going to have the motherboard there, and you want to put some type of barrier, right, to hold the motherboard or protect the motherboard from making contact, you know, because the, on the back side of the motherboard, the PCB, you got uh, joints, silicon joints, or uh, excuse me, solder joints, and various components that you want to protect, SMDs all of that so you put like a piece of cardboard anything that's non-static material just to protect that the risers all that but the, using the shelf will help you save money right there 40 bucks you got a shelf and now instead of having just one rig you can have multiple layers for your GPUs on top of that here's something that I did similar to what this guy you can see here he's got a computer case with the side panels and top panels off and he's got four GPUs here in the bottom three uh, excuse me three up top and two up front a little bit jank a little bit MacGyver but he saved money and that's the whole point of the game something like I did right so instead of buying a mining frame or before uh, mining frames were even available you users were using milk crates that's what I was using so I took this old cooler master case turned it on its side it's a little bit bigger than the standard ATX case turned it on its side put some painter sticks plastic dip to painter sticks third risers on there third GPUs and powered it. And I have one ATX power supply and one server power supply. And this is a key point that I want to make here in just a second. It works, it gets the job done, it provides cooling, I got sufficient gaps for airflow, everything ran great. I eventually upgraded to a mining frame, yeah. And here's the frame. A little bit this is my old, you know, there's some newer GPUs on, on my frame now, but that this is something that you buy when you can make it yourself. You can take some angle iron from Home Depot and literally build your own. Let's see if I can find an example. Something like this. Maybe that's a pre-built. But yeah, you can you can take angle iron and make your own mining frame and save the money that you would have spent on a frame. That's a hundred bucks. Like here's a, a beautiful example. This is a perfectly capable system. We got 12 GPUs, two uh, 1200 watt power supplies, motherboard, CPU, memory, everything we need. And this individual built the frame themselves, saving some money. So he could spend more money on the hardware. Now you could go to places like Alibaba or uh, Amazon or whatever to get a mining rig frame. Now this one says 30 bucks, but I never heard of this individual, this third party individual that's selling it. So maybe that's a good deal, but I would be careful just in case, because maybe that's not what you're going to get in the picture. That's clearly a Vada frame, and that's another thing. You got to be careful of scams. We got sellers on Etsy, we got sellers on eBay, and some of what they're telling you may not be legit or may not be accurate. You know, you may get broken GPUs or whatever. Now, when it comes to power, to power these pre-builds, let's go back to Shark. So I'm not sure how much the power supply is in this particular system, but just to get the power that we need because the power that we're going to need is been at, let's just say 950 uh, maybe a thousand watts that, that's probably way over but a thousand watts just to power everything in this 6 GPU mining rig with 1070 TI's we can spend 75 bucks uh, for two power supplies and get over 1400 watts easily and it will work on a 110 volt electrical, right? And so here in the US, most houses have 110. So that might be the, the better or more economical. Now you could get one big power 1600 watt Hercules power supply 
but that's going to cost a, a pretty penny. Those type of power supplies that are 1,200 watts or 1,000 watts and higher are jumping up in price to you know two, three, four hundred dollars depending on which model you get. So you can save some money that way, or you can even save some more money with something like uh, Parallel Miner. But there's a catch. So Parallel Miner, I love this breakout board. Um, has the ATX power supply connector and everything you need to not only power your motherboard, control your fans, but power your GPUs as well. The only problem with this is you need this to be on a 240 volt or 220 or 240 volt uh, connection. And I, when I'm on 110, my server power supply that you saw in that picture can only do about 850. I have to be on 240 volt, which uh, will be coming sometime in the future. So just bear that in mind, but you can combine a server power supply even with the 850 with an ATX power supply and be able to power 8 GPUs effectively and efficiently. So you're saving money on the hardware, you're losing the warranty, you're losing the support, but you have a great support community behind you in the crypto mining space. There are so many articles and information online and Reddit, RGPU mining, Voscoin talk, but there's a wonderful community in the crypto mining space that has all kinds of information. You know, like what is the 1070 Ti, 1070 Ti you know, mining performance? And, you know, you'll find out everything about that GPU. I just recently released all the data for the RX 6800. So the data in a, is available to you. You can calculate the power that you're going to wind up drawing, the hash rate the cost and if we look at the cost right so at my forty five hundred dollars that I've calculated to build that system right now at time of filming if we calculate it it's around twenty two dollars after electricity and the return on investment is two hundred and two days as of right now but if the price is what we're seeing here at shark mining at seventy seventy two thirty nine and we calculate it right so we jump from two hundred and two days to three hundred and twenty six days to return on our investment and the goal is to be as efficient as possible and to get your money back and start earning that profit so again just just to wrap up things here buying a pre-built may be beneficial for a beginner who's not comfortable with managing maintaining or building with uh, you know building the mining rig themselves and they might get a warranty or some type of support assistance for that so I can understand why that's attractive, but the money that you would save will help you buy better hardware, whether it's a better motherboard, better CPU, better GPUs. The money you would save will help you out, and the experience that you get for building the mining rig is substantial, and I think something something that everybody should enjoy. And if you can build a gaming computer, you can build a mining rig. If you never built either or, it's just a new experience for you to check out, and it's you got a wonderful uh, community behind you in the crypto mining space so definitely consider building the mining rig yourself but I completely understand if you bought a pre-built if you did let me know in the comments below let me know if you built your rig or you bought a pre-built and then let me know the specs you have I'll be interested to hear from you but I thank you so much for hanging out with me do me a favor hit the like button on the way out subscribe for more content like this and I'll catch you guys in the next one